Welcome back. In this video, we are going to write a program that calculates the BMI of a user. Okay, the BMI is called the body mass index and is based on the weight or mass and then height of a person. Okay, the weight or mass should be in kg, kilogram, and then the height should be in meters. If it's in other units, you would have to convert it. So that is what we are simply going to do in this video. And then the BMI is used to determine whether a person is underweight, overweight, or has a normal weight. All right. So that is what we are going to do. So the BMI depends on weight and then height. So first we need to get the weight and then the height from a user. All right. And then this is the formula for BMI, weight in kg or mass in kg over height squared. All right height in meters squared so first let's get our weight from the user because then we need to convert our weight to float because we know that weight can be or can contain a this small point all right so we ask the user to enter your his or her weight in kg that is kilogram and then we also ask the user to enter his or her height also in meters all right enter your height in meters okay then the next thing we need to write the bmi formula since we have our weight and then height so what's the bmi formula weight over height squared all right so we can say bmi equals weight over height squared and we learned that this is how we write squared all right double star two or you can use the power function if you remember the power function takes the base and then the exponent all right so here our base will be the height and then our exponent will be two then the next thing that we can do is use this information that we have here to check if the person is underweight or overweight or has a normal weight all right so you can use a conditional statement if bmi is less than 18.5 that is below 18.5 then what should we tell the user to print use our f string your bmi is bmi comma you are underweight okay as simple as that but if the person has a bmi that is above or equal to 18.5 all right equal or greater than 18.5 but less than 25 so that is what this means so between 18.5 inclusive and then 24.5 inclusive 25 is not passed all right the person should be or should have a healthy weight or normal weight so if the program checks this one and then it evaluates to false then it will come to the next one so if bmi is greater than 18.5 then you come to the next one use our l if what should we check next if the bmi is between 18.5 inclusive and then 25 exclusive right so we can say that if bmi is less than 25 as simple as that okay let's bring our bmi here what we have done here means if bmi is less than 18.5 then this line is going to run but as soon as bmi is greater than 18.5 then it's going to check this l if to see if bmi is less than 25 so this code is the same thing as writing bmi is less than or let's say is greater than or equal to 18.5 and bmi is less than 25 okay so this is the same thing as writing is less than 25 and you simplify this way you say it in a mathematical form that is bmi is greater than or equal to 18.5 and then less than 25 all right so we can simply do this and we are good to go and if we have this 
then we can print to the user that the user has a normal weight all right so let's clean this up you have a normal weight then the next thing that we need to check is that if the user has a bmi between 25 inclusive and then 30 exclusive then the person is overweight okay so we can simply write l if bmi is less than 30 so this code is going to check between if the bmi is greater than 25 then it's going to jump over this all right if it's equal to 25 then it will come here and then 25 is less than 30 so it will run this one so as soon as bmi is not less than 25 the program will come to this next line of code and then check the condition over there then what should we print here we should print your bmi is bmi you are overweight right as simple as that and then if all these conditions are not satisfied that is if the bmi is greater than 30 then we should print to the user that the person is obese as simple as that so that is all the code so if you run this let's run this and see what you will get enter your weight in kg let's say my weight is 60 kilograms and then my height is 1.7 meters so you are getting your bmi is 20.7 blah 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 blah. <laughs> you have a normal weight okay so there are a lot of decimals here so since our bmi we have only one decimal place we can run our program using the run function that is we can run the bmi using the run function and then we can get this to one decimal place all right so if you want to two decimal place you can just put two here if you want one decimal place you, you write one here the run function is a built-in function like the power function that we have used here okay so if you run this one again we are getting 60 that is the user's weight or mass and then my height is 1.7 meters so if you enter this we are getting your bmi is 20.8 you have a normal weight it's as simple as that so if we run it again and we input let's say 70 kg and then one point let's say 68 then we are getting your bmi is 24.8 still in the normal weight or normal bmi let's let's agree this one and say if the person has a weight of 80 and then height of let's say 1.5 very short oops your bmi is 35 point says you are obese all right so it's beyond the 30 mark that is why we are getting this but if we check the formula here we are supposed to get the unit of bmi is what kg per meter squared so if you want to add the unit you can say unit here you can either do it one by one attached to it or you can just assign it to a variable and then we write kg the unit should be kg kg per forward slash right per meter squared but if you remember we said our if you want to write meter squared or anything any unit squared in python we did this when we were doing getting users input so you can just check that video out if you have forgotten how to do this all right so here we bring off backslash then u 0 0 b 2 and then we can write our unit here okay so if we run this one again we expect that we get the unit attached to it so if you say 70 and let's say 1.8 meters you are getting your bmi is 21.6 kg per meter square you have a normal weight all right so this is how we can write this if you pause the video to write this on your own your program might look different than what we have here what we want is is your program running then we are good to go are you, are you getting the input or the output that you want 
then you are good to go. It's not compulsory that your code should look exactly as mine. There are different ways that we can do this. So if you check the code here, you can see that it's quite different from what I have here using the conditionals, but it works the same. Okay. That is this L if checks if BMI is greater than or equal to 18.5 and then check if it's less than 25. It's the same thing as we have done here but using different ideas all right so just try and write this program on your own and then yours i want you to factor something in instead of stopping at 30 greater than 30 you are best you should continue on and factor these conditionals into your code so if the bmi is greater than 30 but less than 35 the person has obesity of class 1 all right and if the bmi is greater than or equal to 35 but less than 40 then the bmi or the person has a obesity of class 2 and then if the bmi is greater than 40 then the person is extremely obese or the person has a obesity of class 3 so i want you to factor or add these conditioners in your code and then try it on your own bye bye for now in the next video we are going to look at another conditioners called match case all right bye bye see you in the next video